Greetings everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulova, and right now we're looking at Italy killing off Slovenia, who's allied to Sweden. So, here we are. As you can see, Greece wants reparations from Slovenia and Italy wants freely, while Sweden is trying its best against the Italians. I actually called them the Czechs, the Bulgarians, the Greeks, and the Montenegrins. This is almost like an Italian-led sphere from TNO. Uh, to that, there's no faction map mode, is there? I mean, we have spheres and such. So let's see... Recruitment... Actually, how's my great... Wow. We're actually losing immigrants, or people, to people in the New World, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Wow, look, there's a lot of migration. People are actually coming to here? Wow. <clears throat> They're really coming to Colombia. Wow, look at that. I love internal migration. I love it. Oh, people coming to Colombia, or Cuba too. Cool, anyways. Let's see. Ranking spheres. So this is actually kind of cool, the way they did the sphere stuff. Germany is no longer an empire. They're literally just Germany. We dismantled them last time. Let's see. France as well. I had to pop out Brittany. We have a, quite a bit of influence in Iberia. And, <clears throat> if you look here, I'm allied now with Germany as well as France. Both nations that we beat the snot out of last time, or at least beat up particularly okay-ish, they both allied us. Very weird. Very, very weird. Even though we do now have, of course, Danzig. We don't have Pomerelia with us. Actually, do they want an alliance? No, they don't. But, regardless, we do have a justification war goal against the British, who we will go to war with soon. I just want to get at least one more army done. I have built a, more ships in this navy, including Dreadnoughts now, and a, quite a few battleships, even though we're still using um, frigates in this fleet. But, whatever. Give it one more month, get our guys a little bit more morale, and then we're going to go ahead and go to war with the UK. And see what happens, because at for this campaign, I guess, I mean, we wanted to get rid of all European influence in Africa. That's a really tall order. Also, it's 1936, so we're going past the time limit. I set it to 1980 instead of 1936. Oh, we got a lot of infamy. Let's see. Honestly, I just want to become number one in the world, so I don't have to beat up America. I really don't have to. Technically, Liberia is independent, so it's not really European, so... And I figured that, you know what, even though we've switched Africa down here, as long as they're my ally, it's okay. So, we might beat up the Netherlands. We'll see what happens again. Oh, the Bulgarians are downing the Congo. Go figure. Give us one more month. We're still making plenty of money. And actually, we tax the heck out of the poor people. We got 50% tariffs. Industrial subsidies are pretty high. But, as long as everyone's content, that's what matters right now. And, we almost have modern naval training. Awesome. Industry. So, we're almost done with our Navy stuff, which is pretty good. Culture-wise, I've never, I haven't even done romanticism, haven't done associationism. I barely touched this, and we, we're a little bit more than halfway through this stuff, but, you know, whatever. Industry, shift work, electrical power generation seems really, really good, so let's grab that. Oh, there's a big old dip there. Oh, we actually have rebels. That's very strange. Alright, well, whatever. We could take these guys out too, maybe. Yeah, establish protector, make a puppet, eh. That's alright. I just want to be at the UK. I do want to get number one in the world. Just because if we can, like, dismantle them. Or actually, our Castle Bell has cut down his size. So, that would reduce the prestige by 185. We would get 179. And hopefully, that would make it so that we can lower them enough so that we can become number one power in the world. Because we're, like, six, 1,600 away from and score from the United States. So we'll see what happens. If we beat the UK, and we don't, we're not above America, we will go to war with them, so... We'll see what happens. So, let's see. Who's going to join us? Cut down to size would be great. And if we do this... Guiana is my ally, but they will not accept. Basque Country, Poznan, Sweden, Belgium, Catalonia, Portugal, Danzig, Luxembourg. A whole bunch of powerful people here, obviously. Hungary, Lithuania, Egypt, South Africa, Persia. The Russian Empire will not accept. France and Germany will accept. And Austria cannot accept. And the USA will not accept either. So we have basically France and Germany with us. The two people that I beat up last time. Well, we'll see what happens. Beautiful. And now we're going to be fighting all the 6,000 puppets of them. Believe it, we can have an alliance as long as you come in. Oh, okay. They really like us. Oh, I'll take it. Uh... Wait, you're fighting... Oh, and Argentina lost Patagonia. <clears throat> Which, I don't know. we're not allied with them, but whatever. So, we're fighting Bahrain, Bosnia-Herzegovina, so be it, so be it. Ooh, actually, let's move to Belize. 
Why not? Let's see. Patriots there. Arabia came out last time. Oh, the Suez. Don't mind if we do. Oh, we have to deal with this side too, of Africa. Could be worse. The whole of Africa. I got some rebels down there too, nice. Go ahead and move on in. And with these guys, we best be very, very careful with what we do with these guys. I believe he's honored it. Is that really everyone that came in? Because I really... Oh no, they got all their puppets here too. New Zealand, Australia, Hyderabad, pretty, Ireland, pretty much all of India. That's a lot of dudes. So they're going to move in, which is totally cool with us. Because I want them to attack us. And Gardena? They'll be there on the 23rd. We can be there on the 20th. Oh! Ponded... Cherry? Oh, hold on, where's that? Ponded... Oh, we were down there. Okay, that's fine. We did take that little piece of Africa, or India, I should say. Uh, well, that doesn't really matter too much. You guys, head on up to uh, here. Why not? No one down there. Making a 60,000 sack right there. So, oh, I should really pay attention to what's going on. Thank you. Go and do that. And hopefully they don't come up with a fleet. Oh, boy. Are they attacking us yet? There they go. There they go. Uh, yeah, they're still moving down there. That's fine. Deserta. Ah, that's good. That's good. Come on, get down here. There we go. Anything else around here? Any other armies? Oh, I have you up here. That's, that's good. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Palestine is this? Oh. Cool. So I'm going to keep you, oh, the Brits or the Swedes are doing well over here. Yeah, get in there, guys. We should do okay without these guys over here, but we'll see what happens. The UK might invade the mainland, so. Nice. Good job, guys. Beating those rebels up. Wow, we're losing a lot of guys down here. I mean, they're the ones attacking. We are not attacking. I'm not sure why it says we're attacking, because we're defending this one. Hey, good job, guys. Let's go, Gavis. How fast can we move? On the 8th. You know what? I think it's too risky. Let's go ahead and have you guys stay there. I have the 60,000, or you guys go over there. Come up here. That'd be better. What's the war score like so far? 3%. Not bad. Not great. They have a bigger army than us, but whatever. Oh, the French are up there, too. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a lot of guys. I mean, there's always a strat to come over to Ireland, take them out, and then cut them off through the sea, but we probably don't have a big enough navy for that yet. Find them. Crush them. Good. Get your booty. Tunis, thank you. Oh, what's going on up here? Battle of Orasund. Oh, the Germans are not doing well up there. Actually, how many ships do the Brits have on this side? They have quite a few battleships. That's not good. But it'll be okay. Tensions dissipate. play. More discipline. Thank you. Good. Seriously, we're not the ones attacking. Go and leave. What the heck? You pieces of garbage. Like, I, we were not attacking that entire time. I made sure that we were not attacking. The game. What the heck? The game screwed us over there. Holy cow. That's so dumb. Well, at least you guys are over here. That's good. Gun merge together. Thank you. Cool. Come down there. Even though these provinces don't matter that much. Still good to take them out. Alright. So what are we doing? Oh. We gotta come up there then. I think we're actually going to Bizerta. On the 28th. That's tomorrow, so. It's fine. Have you guys come up here too. Gafsa. And have you guys take one of you and come up there. 
Amphibious Warfare training, very good. Okay, so we're on defense. So we should be doing relatively okay for this one. Go ahead and move soldiers up. And it's going to say we're attacking again, probably, for some reason. Freetown? No, 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 no. No Freetown here. Italy's down there. Let's see. Looking not too bad. Do we have any more soldiers being made? We do. That's good. And looking not too bad. Oh, I'll have you guys down here, too. Oh, they deployed more soldiers, huh? Well, good for them. We get Constantine on the tenth. Keep on hold for now. Down here. Intervene eventually. Yeah, please kill them all off. They're, that's completely unfair from the last battle. Good. There you go, Bofa. Not enough dead yet. So we'll go to the Falaba on the 19th. Can we get there a little earlier? We'll get there on the same day. <clears throat> so you guys hold. And actually just move around. And then you guys go there. You guys go there. <clears throat> I'll keep these guys surrounded. Look at that. Boom. Boomerinos. Looking not too bad. Do we need really ships anywhere else, maybe? Maybe. 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 We do have 11 capital ships. That's pretty nice, I'd say. We do have our ships over here, too, so. Alright, you know what? We're going to surround these guys. See what happens. All right, so if they want to leave, they gotta attack somebody. There we go. <clears throat> They've taken the bait. They have taken the bait. Oh, and they're gonna be attacking us up here. That's not good. They don't have a lot of morale. Eight. Very good. Come on down here. British Yemen, huh? How's the war going now? Minus 27% from battles? Yeah, no, that one battle was god-awful because the AI was dumb. And they thought we were attacking for some reason. Oh, it'll be better in the long run. Because the UK won't be able to, hopefully, stand up to us. Oh, look at that. Bizerte. So I still got a lot of guys. But they're out of horses, and it looks like... Oh, no. I mean, they have 800 horses. Some of our guys are out of horses. They still got a pretty good army, though, so we got to be careful. Bone. Hey, there we go. Timbo, nice. They still have a massive army. Oh, send you guys up this way. There we go. Hmm. I really need that army down south to finish. And you guys come to bone. You go up to there. You go up to there. I'm gonna hold. Nice. Help siege him down a little bit more. We're losing some money, but whatever. We have these guys almost completely encircled. And you're done. So now we're going to have these guys completely encircled again. So this should be looking a little better. That's, an, that's a little better. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, UK, invade somebody. See what happens. Oh, the Sp Spanish are, have reactionaries, huh? Oh, hello. Do they not have infantry? Huh. I have you guys over here, too. Well, we're doing relatively okay. Maybe not great, but, you know, we're doing okay-ish.
Oh, we found the automobile. Delmer's automobile. Interesting where, where they go next. Yeah. Let's go ahead and send 30,000 over. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, actually, no, let's send them back because I'd rather attack in the mountains. Oh, well, never mind, whatever. Alright, everyone in. And you go and see these guys down too. If you can, uh, do they get any bonus from our guys shelling on land, maybe? Really? Your defense is that bad? Balobo Armandu. 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 Come on, dude. Seriously. Let's go doing stuff down there. Looking not bad right there. Hey, looking pretty good right here. Look at this. Hmm, where do we go? Well, we could try to attack, but the Navy's a big problem for us. Dropping bodies like crazy. 38,000 more dead? Not bad. At this point, we might be able to do okay if we do this. There we go. Oh, it's Bosnia-Herzegovina, okay. Why can't we... Do they have ships? Oh, hold on. There we go. Incident in Panama? No, no incident in Panama. Big news. Big news. There we go. They're eliminated. That's good. Alright, so let's spread you guys out a little bit more so that we don't take any attrition. Do the coast of North Africa. Keep one guy around here ish. Keep one guy in Tripoli. And we'll go to invade Malta too. That'd be good. Oh! Oh, I better pay attention. Shouldn't take too long for these guys to get in there, though. And I'm going to keep you up here, just in case. There you go. Okay, well, we won that battle. Still too many guys. Actually, do we get there 11th of August, 12th of August? Yep, yeah, I guess we'll go back up here, then. Uh, not you. Everyone come there. But not you. You have to go down there. But not you, because since you're going to go... There you go. Still completely surrounded. Oh, please attack into there. It is Grasshouse Hills, so we don't get that much of a bonus, but whatever. Thank you. Thank you. I should probably play EU4 more like how I play Vicky 2. Understanding where the train is and do relatively okay with it. Alright, so you guys over here. Do we have a get? Our, our guys are on the ships. That's good. <clears throat> do we lose the ship? Uh, is anyone injured? No? Okay. Well, that's good. Where is the British fleet, though? Because that's what's pumping up their naval score. Oh, actually, look at that. That's not too bad. We're so forth in the world. Minus... What the heck is going on? B battles? Okay, so who's losing all the battles? Hmm. Where is the British fleet? Well, we can explore a little bit, I guess. That's a lot of guys. That is a lot of guys. Uh, do we have two more cannons being made? Yes, we do. Yeah, just in case. You can always make some more just in case. Just in case. I love the Sudanese. Very helpful people. Ah, that's South Africans have shown up. Also, even though know, we're in war... Let's go to check this bureaucrats. No. We did colonize some places or make stuff into states. We didn't even colonize them, we just made them into states. Uh, but they're not too bad, too. Might come to Jamaica, maybe. Let's see. So, what are we losing the most money on? Industrial subsidies. Tax people a little bit more. Increase the tariffs just a little bit more. Which didn't help at all. Look at that. Alright, let's, let's kill them off. Wait, they went the wrong way. What the heck? Oh, come on. Oh, they went the wrong way. Oh, man. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll surround them again. That just gives us more opportunities to have bigger war score then. There you go. Go right there. And you guys go right there. Yeah, there's, no, there's nowhere they can go, so... 
Surrounded once again. Alright, so anyone we can improve relations with? Maybe the Italians? No. Swedes? Russians? Second alliance? No. Okay. Uh, I really have no beef with the Russians. I don't really care about the Russians, to be honest with you. Let the Russians do whatever they want. Alright, so with you guys. We could try to do this. Do they not? They don't have any infantry on these guys. Attacking them is probably a really bad idea, but they're completely cut off in the world, so. They'll be fine. Oh! Oh boy. The Battle of the Cantabrian Sea. Where's my other navy? I don't know if we'll be able to get here in time. Oh, that's not good. We killed those guys off, which is nice. How fast can our ships move? They're not moving fast enough. Come on. That's a lot of ships. Destroyed. Fernando Poe. A lot of dreadnoughts. Oh, crap. We're losing these guys. Yep. Oh, they killed every single one of them. Holy smokes. Yeah, you guys took for way too long with that. You took way too long. Yeah, that's why I don't like the British. Their navy's just too big. It's just too big. Let's see. Well, one, two. Mm. Can't even make cruisers. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Doesn't matter how much it costs. We gotta have bigger, more dreadnoughts. They just killed every single one of them. And that was a mistake by the British. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Britain, invade me. Invade me. See what happens. Nope, I should probably pay, pay more attention here. Basque country. King. Uh, well... That's not going to really work out for you. Basque Aquitaine. Um, I really can't do much against them right now, guys. Sorry. So, see ya. Of course, the curricula. It's good. Yeah, they're going to die there. It's good. Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> can't really help you there. Hmm. Because this is our naval port. We gotta make another navy. Yeah. Actually, let's come down here too. I really have not been building up too much here, have I? Oof. The car. There we go. There we go. Are they not dead yet? I mean, they can demand whatever they want. I don't know who's losing all these battles, but it's not us. Okay, so why don't they just die? There you go. Why did it take so long? Alright, so I'm going to send you guys up to Casablanca. And everyone's going to come into the car, except for you, who's going to go down to there. Who's going to go down... Oh, nope, wrong button. Is going to go down to here. And he's going to go down to. Part of Africa is doing pretty darn well already. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll come to North Africa, maybe. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. <clears throat> let's come back up here. So, I guess I'll play this a little bit more off-screen, and we'll come back together once I can do some more stuff. Alright everyone, so we're not quite finished this with war yet, but I do want to show you what's been going on. So, as I said before when I was fighting Germany, the AI actually bugs itself out where it just stops moving. Quite unfortunate, quite unfortunate. But, I decided, you know what, this is getting kind of unfair. So earlier, they mostly sieged down the Persians. So I figured, you know what, let's free for Persia, and we did. But, like I said, I was like, the, the British AI just stopped working, so I'm like, okay, well, let's save the game, let's reload it, and then they started attacking us again. As you can see on screen, they attacked us in Kalat. Actually, I lost a battle earlier, but we went to Kalat, took them out, apparently. They lost 125,000 soldiers. We lost about 
well, less than 8,000, so I thought it was a pretty good score. Uh, let's see, we see you down a good chunk of, actually, we see you down a, quite a good chunk of India so far. But, uh, we're still fighting over here in Persia as well, in which, well, they did have a lot of guys over here. And they did have quite a few guys over here as well, but you know what? When you bait the AI into attacking your armies, it could be a lot, lot worse. So, But I did want to give you a, a show of what is going on. We're losing a lot of money too, so. And that's, oh, look at that, another, not bad. We lost 14,000 guys, not bad, not bad. Go ahead and actually, where are the, oh, the British all died. Nice. You guys go there. Uh, so if you come down here, they still have British armies down here, but honestly, I don't think Britain's going to do that well. I mean, I did tab over to see that they are actually, well, mobilized, so industry is still really, really good. Mostly all in, of course, the Isles, but, hmm. But the short wars now, we're at 42%, which is really nice. I could do all this stuff, but I do want to dismantle them, so. And I don't think they'll allow that. I would like to do both, but we can't do both, actually. They may not even accept that yet, so. But we still got a while to go. Maybe after this battle we might be able to win. We'll see what happens, but good. Keep throwing those guys in there. Don't okay, kill off these soldiers as well. Ooh. Yeah, we're sieging down India quite a bit, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. I like it. Keep an eye on these guys. You never know what these guys might be up to. They still got some armies. I am making another fleet over here as well. So. Now we have nine dreadnoughts. Or maybe, maybe seven dreadnoughts. Seven dreadnoughts, which is not bad. Ooh. Come on, guys, just head on over. Things are expensive. Very expensive, as you can see by my uh, budget right now. Yeah, industrial subsidies cost quite a bit. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh, there you go. That should help out to you a little bit. Eh, not much, but... Oh, hello. I did pull away a lot of soldiers from North Africa just because... Well, we were not having a good time in Persia. But we're still making more soldiers, so. Alright, the battle's still raging on. Ooh, is that worth getting involved in? It might be, it might not be. I mean, at this point, you might as well go in. There's so few soldiers there, so. Bahrain wants to be independent right now. What the heck? No. Oh, what? We're. No. I did not attack this area. No. Get the heck out of here, you ding dongs. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. Oh, we actually won the battle there? Okay. Sure, why not? Why not? Well, I'll just keep going. Losing quite a bit of money, and I will slash it off soon if we have to, so. Hopefully this battle goes really well. I mean, okay, there's Battle of Bam. More 18 score, 125,000 more dead. Pretty good. Yeah, we're going to start slashing some stuff here. Ooh, we got to get all the way over here, though. What's the score like now? 54%. Can we actually dismantle? I mean, cutting down the sides is okay. Yeah, we can force them. Actually, after those battles, I mean, they lost a lot of guys. Don't get me wrong, but... Hey, we can force them to dismantle their empire. Cutting down the sides would be nice, but... Okay, then. Very nice. Also, we did ally with the Nationalist Chinese, too. So, it's very weird. Nationalist Chinese allied with a very powerful African nation. Nice. Return of our colonies. Oh, we got, we'll probably have to liberate some stuff here, too. Because we have too much infamy. African farms and mines, yes, please. And return of our colonies, yes, please. Thank you. Alright, so I don't want to do this, but we're going to have to liberate some people here. Trinket safety. Do they care about this stuff? Do they really care? Ah, uh, 2%. There you go. Wow, that just spiked up quite a bit. Nice. Lower this to half. Lower the ships to half. Construction. And eh, keep it there for now. Tensions in Switzerland? Um. Okay. Well, actually, so the British. They're still mobilized. They're doing really well in industry. They're second in the world. Oh, we're still number one in the world for um, prestige. And they went down to 47th. Now I want to see what happens at this point. I'm really tempted to go to war with the USA. Because that's the last... They're number one now. Oh, ooh. Yugoslavia or to Slovenia. Oh, I guess the Italians finished their war with the Swedes. Who won? It looks like maybe the, the Italians did, but... It's Colombia. 
I'm thinking we go to war with Americans in the next episode. We're actually allied with them, so... We'll see what happens. They might ship over a lot of guys. They might not. I don't know. Oh, we, you guys are here too. That's right. Cool, but that was a really... These great wars. Jesus. They cost a lot. They cost a whole heck of a lot. And hopefully we get Tunis too. Going to Tripoli. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, don't tell me we got to ship over soldiers this way. Oh, that'd not be good. That would so not be good. Oh, no. Uh, do we have access to Iraq? Come on, Iraq. Jordan gave us military access, so keep high relations with them. Oh, and Palestine. Why would they accept? Base reluctance. Well, I mean, yeah, we got a lot of infamy, but whatever. Who cares? Infamy's better than ever. Wow, that's a lot of money. Ooh. We're making that at 53%, maybe. So we'll see what happens. We'll have one more episode in this campaign where we will probably go to war with the Americans. Just because we can't. Oh, to go to Kingdom of Yet. Nice. The Treaty of London. Vacuum tubes. <gasps> Where did they get freed? What the heck? British Africa. Uganda. Kenya. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Somaliland actually doesn't look too bad. Does Somaliland have any claims on Ethiopia? Oh, return of our colonies. Yes, please. Thank you. Women's suffrage. That would not be bad. Uh, let's see how much war exhaustion do we have. We, we have none. All right. Mm, border policies, tech school. We could do that. Hey, look at that. We got all of Yemen. Beautiful. Oh! Boy, Burma and India. Nice. Well, let's send you on the boat first, I guess. War's over. Can you guys actually get on, please? Yeah, there you go. Nice. Come on over. Uh, well, let's keep one guy here in uh, Yemen. Anything else? Women's suffrage. We might do that. We might not. Ooh, you guys come to there. You guys come on over to the rest of Persia. Oh, that's going to be a giant mess trying to funnel soldiers back over. Oh, crud. Kangan. Eh, yeah, it's going to stay down there. Chinese were great. Real great. Okay, so Iraq, please. Please. Happy 1939. Also, I think we have, we're in a depression or something. No more war. Oh, it expires in 42. Holy cow. Constitutional crisis. There's mental country. Well, maybe this will be the, actually... No. Uh, I'm thinking. It's already 39. At this point, if we really wanted to, we could probably beat up the Americans. This, this might be the last episode, but let's see what happens. I want to see what happens first. Just because... Time is limited, and I've shown that I, I can figure out how to actually play as a nation. Especially, like, Africa. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'll take Fiji. Yeah. Uh, which one is this one? Mm, British Caribbean? Cambodia? Sure. New Caledonia? British Indian Territory? Infamy's not going up, so... T Tunisia, of course. South Atlantic Isles. Tahiti. West Indies, West End, Solomon Isles, Tonga. Wow. Now, this is not too bad. Wowzers. Ooh, did they get this? No, yeah, we're still gonna fight over that stuff. Oh, Guiana's here too. Look at that. Hmm. Looking better already. Ooh. Belizarian Guatemala. Belize exists, huh? Well, not bad so far. Not bad. Bruno Hildebrand, and of course, more prestige. Pretty good. Ooh, what is this? Eretria. Yeah, we want Eretria, right? Yeah. Uh, did the infamy not go up? Okay. Finally, we ended with getting Eretria. Very good. Ooh, what is this? Oh, oh, they lose two percent. We don't lose. We don't get any more infamy. So New Guinea. Oh, get more infamy from Gambia. Yes. 
It's fine with me. Oh, you guys have a lot of... Hmm. Africans and Asian farming. Now this is looking even better. I'll go down here. Who's this? Sierra Leone? Research stuff. Good. Actually, wow, we spent 900,000 pounds getting stuff done. Wow. Uganda, India. Oh, what happened to India? Oh, the French. What? Why did the French get that? Jesus. Yeah. Uganda gains one infamy. We should not have gotten that infamy. But okay, yeah, I guess. Oh, what's going on? Well, I definitely wanted India, but you know what? Whatever. I guess we got part of Southeast Asia, too. Wow. So if we have to, we will release stuff, but we'll see what happens. Arabia, eh? Crisis. Germany, Italy, and the Ottomans versus Sweden. They want Adana. Ooh. I don't know about that, man. That's really disgusting. French India, British India. Uh, yeah. No, we deserve Kenya. No, oh, if I have to release anybody... If I give the Greeks back their territory back, is that... Will that lower my infamy? Greece. No, it doesn't. I might release Haiti. Only minus two infamy. That's so dumb. Hmm. Alright, go right there. Oh wow, there's a lot of guys here. Next one. I mean, almost 95% of our population can read. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Yeah, it's already it's almost 1940. Holy cow. I don't want to see the UK like breaks up or anything like that too. That'd be kind of cool. Uganda. Oh, come down here. Finally, we got Lamu too. Nice. Swedish Africa. I got stuff down there. So, is it over? UK is really good at industry, military power. They're 12th. Germany looking pretty bad still. Totally fine. Italy not looking too bad. Technically, we're allied, but that's all right. Arabia. Oh, what's this? Oh. Turn on rook tape? Sure, why not? There you go. Now that might be it in terms of dismantling the British Empire. Oh, my. The Malay Federation was released, huh? Is that it? That might be it. Ooh. South Africa didn't really get anything, did they? That sucks. Oh, nope. Somaliland. Ooh. Nice. We're still not done yet. We're still not done. Actually. Ooh. Uh, we can still sign the Geneva... I guess at this point we might as well sign the Geneva Convention. We signed it after the Great War, of course. Hmm, 1.5, that'd still be too much. Okay, so we gotta release a nation here. Hmm, I don't want to release anyone here that's not in Africa. I don't want to release Uruguay because we've been doing really well there as well. Papua New Guinea might not be bad. Do I care about Papua New Guinea at all? Not really. We have big old populations down there. Huge amount of population, actually. Yeah, but we barely have them, so let's go release Papua New Guinea then. As a Dominion. There we go. Not bad. Primitive. Whatever. Nah, we own the Malay Federation. Nice. Second in the world for score. I mean, we made the Un United States the number one greatest power in the world, but let's be real. If we were going to continue this campaign, we would have been number one if we beat them up, so. Alright, is that it? Cash crops. Eh, it doesn't matter, sure, why not? 
This has been one heck of a campaign, I'll be honest. Oof. A lot of money. Let's go and lower the tariffs then. Finally see signed the Geneva Convention. It only took us till nineteen thirty nine. Agent Farms. National Banking Act? Oh. We haven't even finished our technology. You know what? Fine. If people want to vote, or women want to vote, so be it. Finally, you did in the last episode. Nice. Is that it? That might be. They have puppets of... Bayushin Land and Zimbabwe? They should not have that anymore. Oh, Zimbabwe's right there, too. Not even Rhodesia? Maybe Rhodesia somewhere else. Hmm. Oh, there's a Mont Mata Bella. Well, that might be it. And that's really disgusting that the French got all of this. I honestly don't think that they deserve any of this, or very, very small portion of it, just because they didn't do very much. I mean, seriously, they didn't do very much at all. Burma, Burma still exists, though. And that was in the British sphere, or at least taken by the Brits. So, partially westernized. Oh, there we go. Getting two more infamy. What is this? Did we get anything from that? Rebellion in our ally. Bolivia, I don't care. Uh, anything else? Suppressus. Spain is back. Oh, did they actually... Oh, Basque Country's back. Kind of broke their, our lines with them, but whatever. Alright, they finally won an 8-hour workday in 1940, so be it. <laughs> there you go. 8-hour workdays. Very progressive African nation, I'd say, here. We're still building more ships. Yeah, because we lost all those ships earlier, but wow. I went crazy building these ships. We like Liberia's having problems, too. Oh, why did the French get this? Okay, so what did the French do in the war? They did, like, nothing. And did they get all these score? Yeah, no, I'm going to have to disagree with that. But, it should almost be over. The British are still over here for some reason. Hmm. It takes so long to get this through. Oh, airplanes up. We did make some airplanes and a few tanks. Not that many, though. Come on. Is that it? That, oh, hold on. Newfoundland? Oh, no. We did beat the Canadians up, too, but... I didn't really do anything about that. The Feng Qing clique is basically it's time for Hoi Four now. Irving Fisher, yeah, that might be it. Even though they still have British India over here. China is a mess, but then what else is new? Oh, Japan actually changed colors. They're reactionaries. Okay, okay. So is that it? Let's give it another month. We'll see what happens. If that isn't, that is. I don't see anything else here that we could possibly take, but. Modern central banks? Why not? Alright, well, that appears to be it, then. A little bit uneventful. I mean, yeah, we did pretty well. We still have British Africa down here. Maybe it's not done yet, but... I don't know. Yeah, when the AI bugs out, that you can just really take advantage of them, but... Whatever. And then you reload, and then they start attacking you like crazy. Not too bad, but regardless, I guess that's going to probably be it. For us, National Banking Act, if you'd like to read about that, go right ahead, but... Sure, why not? Oh, hold on, is it bugged? Oh, there we go. Cool! Alright then, so, I guess that's going to be the campaign. Um, I could have gone to war with the Russians, but I really don't care about the Russians in this campaign, as well as the Americans, but... It is what it is. We got pretty much most of Africa, if not all of it. it either in, as an ally, except for the Netherlands. Or through a sphere, our puppet, and stuff like that. So, regardless, hope you enjoyed this campaign. It's been a wild, wild ride. I didn't think we'd actually get this big, but we did. Regardless, if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know who else I should play as in Vicky 2. And I guess I'll see you all in a different campaign tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.